can be fucking outrageous. You know, it, it could go from, you know, a thousand bucks all the way up uh, to almost 60 grand per seat, depending on where you're going to be at. I know the 50 yep. yard line is an expensive spot. And then they all, they also have a booth in uh, Bank of America Stadium to where you're overlooking the whole field on the home team side. But inside, you got the TVs, you got a full bar, and food and shit. You only pay that PSL once. So if you pay 60 grand to be on the 50 yard line for every freaking game, okay, cool. Then where they get you is you have to buy season tickets every year at the price yep. of what that section or seat or wherever it is. So that sixty thousand dollar PSL license can make you have to spend, you know, seven or eight or ten thousand dollars for those season tickets. And if you don't buy your season tickets, then they put your PSL up for auction, or they take it away and just resell it. Period. Which I was like, uh, yeah, nah, nah. If I can't make, yeah, you know, it's like I explained it to him. I was like, "Look, I'm a left leg amputee. If I can't make a few games, then what the fuck am I supposed to do? Why, why are you gonna punish me and have me fined for something that's that much damn money over nothing? Over because I'm sick. Now, me, it's a little bit different. I can turn around, and be like, okay." They took my shit away because of this right here. So you, they're discriminating, right? Yeah. So, yeah, them, them PSL shits, man. They're they're not cheap, and they will most definitely. Because I was gonna get some last year, me and a buddy of mine, BJ, and his wife. So we were we were looking at three tickets. Uh, it wasn't the top deck, but it was the deck under it to where. If they decided to throw a fucking football, <laughs> we were going to be able to catch it. But they always, and, 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 and my hat's off to Cam and, and the other guys. They always try to give the balls to the kids. They're up against the fence every single time. You know, now, t-shirts and shit's a little bit different. You know, They'll use a t-shirt launcher or... A big ass slingshot or whatever the case may be to get the shirts out there. But you shouldn't punish somebody over that much money because, oh, I'm not going to be here. Yo, <clears throat> you can make special arrangements. Okay, well, I got to do this, this, and this for my family. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be gone for a month. So, I'm going to miss... Monday night game, I'm going to miss a Thursday night game and a couple of Sunday games. They're not going to fuck with you, but if you just straight up them blatantly not tell them what's going on, which you shouldn't have to give any details about your family they or should. your kids for that matter. All they should be concerned about is you got your more morals in the right place, and not, not a lot of adults do. And that's and, and if that's, you've already paid for it, it shouldn't matter if you're in that seat or not. I mean, that's that's my whole point about it. And I don't know; it just doesn't make sense to me why they would be that strict about it. Well, because you know, you you do have your diehard football fans, or Panther fans, or Seahawks. Cowboy fans who are dying to go see a game. I've never seen or watched the Panthers play in person at all. I, w I would love to, love to, and but I, I refuse to sit where my nose is going to bleed, even though you can see the entire field, and it, and it doesn't look like they got. You know, looks like they, they have much room, but... And I, I know I always refer back to Panthers. That's just because I'm a big Panther fan. The same. So... What the hell? Sounds like it's raining. <laughs> huh? Sounds like it's raining. 
Yeah, uh, you got a bunch of static. Mm. Sounds like you're standing in the rain. No clue. Mer what? <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't know. He's doing something. All right, we're gonna take a song break real quick. Find out what the uh, distortion quite might be. So uh, let's go into uh, let's go into Skillet's uh, new song, "Breaking Me." Oh hell, we played that at the damn intro. Never mind, we won't yes, do that. We did. One. I was gonna say we won't do that when we do that one at the intro. But I got one for you right here. <laughs> used to say fuck you and queefa <laughs> <One time>. sorry <laughs> bastards <laughs> I actually should, should have done the, the special version that uh that Rio recorded for me uh I'll have to do that one day <laughs> Chris was saying you usually pay for those season tickets a year oh well, yeah and, 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 and you do and, and you know you do Sometimes you know they will send you out that notice. Hey, it's it's time for you to to pay for your your season tickets and da 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 da. They, so that way, if you tell them no, go fuck yourself. Then <laughs> they're gonna resell your seats. So, and that would piss me off too. I mean, 
you, you do get like a sticker to, to drive around town and it says PSL owner. And a lot of people are like, what is PSL? That means I own two seats in Bank of America Stadium. So anything that happens, regardless if it's football, soccer, uh, some kind of uh, charity thing or circus thing or whatever the case may be, you always got first dibs on, on what, what's going on in that event. So, yeah, it's always pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. So, uh, yeah. And Chris, man, we hope we hope you're feeling better, man. I know, uh, I know there's been a lot of, a lot of crazy sickness stuff going around. So, now I hope you're feeling better. Ghost, hope you've been feeling better too, man. You know, good to, good to hear your, your like Ron would say, your sexy beast voice. <laughs> we told him that you were out making his uh, playgirl calendar. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it done. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. This Rodden's like madly in love with you, man. <laughs> Just saying, he is. He was expecting that to come in the mail at Christmas time. What happened? Uh, you, you can't rush perfection. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> or maybe his wife's still trying to get it through her head that. Okay, well, I'm taking pictures of my husband for another man. <laughs> <laughs> when the she... fuck did Roger Moore die? Roger Moore died? Yeah. I don't know. I have to look that up. Chris? I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know he fucking died. Yeah, that's good, brother. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm I'm in the process of looking it up, but I ask her, "Hey, hey, Chris, you know anything about Roger Moore dying, man?" I might have to. I'm I'm trying to Google it now. Y'all know I'm slow. I didn't know who it was for a minute there. I had to Google it myself. <laughs> Fox well, and Friends is covering. Um... <laughs> Fox and Friends was covering all the people that died in uh, 2017. There it is. Roger Moore. Uh, had a lot of deaths in 2017. Cause of death, cancer. That's fucking sad. God damn. Cancer sucks. Yeah, it does. My, uh... Yeah, 007. 007 is past. I mean... <laughs> My mom passed away of cancer back in March 31st, 2015, just a few months uh, before I came home. That's why we're doing this big fundraiser for, you know, Crystal and her mom. Because she, she's got it too, and she's going through treatment and stuff right now. But st <clears throat> still, you, you, you never know. Right. You but can be you can be okay one minute and then not the next. Does it seem like she? I mean, does it seem like she may be okay, or they don't know yet? Don't know yet. I just know uh, she posted yeah. a picture up on Facebook the other day. You know, saying she's getting ready to go in for her second round of chemo. Um, she's already, you know, of course, the hair hair falling out and stuff like that is, you know, normal. But right. it's already started, so prayers to her family, prayers to uh, Roger Moore's family. You know, he, he he was a cool dude, and uh, he was he was double oh seven before uh, before Sean Conaway, too. So, which he he was a good double oh seven. I I I I know who he is now. He just tell me a sec. I needed to see a picture of his face. Yo, I may be almost 38, but, you know, like I said, TV for me was He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers back in the day, and then kind of, eh, and then just nonchalantly just kind of went away <laughs> till here recently, so, just say it. Yeah. I, just, I was surprised. I didn't, I didn't know he even died. Like, Jake LaMotta, I didn't even know Jake LaMotta died. Damn. There's a